previously on Somnia. Okay, it's raining. Please just get me out of here. I think her soul is splitting. She didn't do enough to die, so they split her apart. Victoria? Hi. Elsie, we have to wait this one out. We have to stop them. We can't let this go on. They cut her off. Where am I? What am I doing here? Maybe you're hunting for someone. What happened to you? What happened to you? I can't remember. I didn't realize how important your name is to you. What was my birth name? It was Nadia. Sir, I'm glad you're awake. I was coming in to check on her. She's sleeping. Some girl, Victoria, she came in and I don't know what happened, but they're just... What? <sighs> you know, even though Lane's case is very out of the ordinary. I've seen comfort from significant others helping in cases of severe trauma. They're not together. Okay, um... Uh, oh my god, I'm not... Uh, I'm sorry, I... Okay, I need my arm back, okay? Oh, no, 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 you're fine. She hasn't been this peaceful yet. I just need to get to her. Oh, well, in that case, I'm going to need my jacket back, so... I'm just gonna get out of your hair. Um... Hello, Victoria. Hi. Let's discuss. Okay. When did you get in here? I, I don't remember. I think it was two or three in the morning. Or... Was she asleep when you got here? No, she was awake and you were here too. The attendant knew and I talked to her and- She was awake? Like, really awake? Yes, yeah, she, she was, like, really awake. I, I talked to her and... You didn't wake her up. No, I just happened to be there. I walked in and there she was, awake. I didn't understand, I guess, but, you know, that's how life works. I, I was trying to get her back to sleep again, and I, I guess I fell asleep in the process, so I... You don't think you stressed her out? Mr. Or... Conrad, I was just trying to... Call me Adrian, hon. Adrian, sorry, I, I just... Sir, I haven't felt a connection to someone so strongly and so quickly ever. And I don't know what you know about Lane, and granted, she hasn't told me herself, and I want her to tell me if she wants to. Please don't say anything about that, you know. And I know it's hard for some people to understand what we go through. I know, Victoria. You what? There's nothing wrong with you and Lane. If you like Lane, and she likes you, then that's all there is to it. Now, if you lift a finger to hurt her, I will come running at you with a baseball bat. But you are welcome in our home with our friends and with Lane. You understand the whole somnia thing? I, I really, I, I don't know the first thing about it. Well, at least you two have that shared experience. I won't ever understand what she's going through, and she needs people who understands. She's very quiet and introverted, but she needs someone to help her get through this. Another family, if you will. I love her with all of my heart, but someone else has to help her get through this. Victoria. It's just... I, I never imagined someone could be so accepting of an... an other. I didn't think people could be so straightforward. 
I thought it would take months of convincing you, or maybe you would hate me, or hate her, or hate everything about the mere idea of us. So that when I brought up the prospect of her, then maybe, just maybe we could see if something could work. That's what I thought. I, I didn't... I'm sorry. I should wait for the Roys to get here or something. You came by yourself? The Roys aren't with you? Yeah, well, I said I would bring the Uber driver more money, but I didn't have any more, so I hope you figured that out and moved on. But, yeah, I don't... I really don't have anything left. And why did you come all the way here? I don't know. You don't? I mean, I, I do know. I... You came to Portland from Quebec and got yourself to the hospital in the middle of the night after I told you that you couldn't see Ling because I didn't know you. All of this using the last of your money. All because she attempted suicide. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I should have asked you or said something. Victoria, if I had found a girl who cared that much about me at your age, I would have never let her go. Does she... He had a point. About what? Uh, about the council case. You could talk to them and they could separate you from them and the other. You know, I never thought about that half of the equation. It was harassment. Roland, the man is likely crazy and- Likely? I'm trying to be gentle here. Gentle? Um, I don't know if you've heard, he's a mass murderer. Also, he kissed me multiple times without asking me. In public. Look, I am aware of what he did, okay? I am not saying that I think what he did was fine and dandy. It's horrific, you know? He's horrific. All I'm saying is that he had a point. And tonight you should go to the council offices and put in that I, petition. I, I don't want... And besides, you can't even know when you need to hug me down here, but you can kiss a total stranger in the other. At no time was I a willing participant of this. And I don't have schizophrenia or OCD or whatever I actually have up there. I don't freak out about everything up there. I'm a different person up there, and you know that. We met there. You don't understand the other me yet, and besides, you just started visiting. You're gonna get something in a few months, and you're gonna realize what the rest of us Somniacs go through. Seriously? That's your argument? That I'm just gonna get sick eventually so you can kiss someone else? That's rude, and I'm rather fallible. Roland. I, I didn't. You didn't I, realize. I didn't kiss him. He kissed me. Don't put words in my mouth. Don't get lost in the semantics of this. You went along with I it. was scared, Elsie. You were being rude to me just then, Roland. Own up to it. I wasn't being rude. I'm just saying what happens to Somniacs. <sighs> just calm down. I'm not being rude. Roland. We have a connection, and I can't dispute that. But... I don't know if I'm connected to you or the idea of you. I'll see. The you that wouldn't think twice about comforting me or kissing me or doing anything. I've never done this before. I have to know what a situation is before I'm comfortable with it. It's not you, Elsie. I care about you. I was terrified all night. All I thought about while I was talking to him was how incredible you are and I wasn't myself. I was more me here. I could argue that you're more of yourself up there, considering how you're so adamant about your, you know, your stuff, making you such a different person. I just don't get it. Just stop letting it define you. Roland, the second you see me the way I get, you'll get it. You can't convince me that something is there. You can't tell me to stop staring at something or someone or stop hearing something or stop being scared of something that doesn't exist. I know it's not real. You know it's not real, but yet it's it's real to me. You can't tell me not to let it define me when it is me. It's not what I meant. No, you I... don't get it, Elsie. Nobody can unless you have it. I don't expect you to. But you could at least have some decency and be understanding that maybe when I don't have that constant fear looming over me, 
the people screaming at me all the time. Maybe I'm a different person. Maybe I'm even a better person. The crap that I go through is real and it's hard and I'm, I'm different because of it. I, I have to go. Poland, I, I'm sorry. Okay, God, I have to go. I... I'm glad you two are amicable. I've never seen a case like Lane's before. She was so relentlessly awake, but now she seems to have tracked backwards. She's, uh, still stable, right? Yes, it's as if whatever was happening to her yesterday didn't actually happen at all. She's exhibiting a very normal reaction to the overdose, except, uh, a day later. As long as she's getting better, that's all I care about. Of course, that's all any of us want. I'll be back to check on her soon. I'd like to be alone with her. Oh, uh, right, yeah, no, see, that makes sense, considering how you're her dad and everything and all, and I'm literally just some stranger and I really need to go. I need to text Vincent about this and get them here. You can stay outside with Vincent, you could go... whatever you'd like. Hey, um, sorry. I have to go. Um, I'll be back, I promise. Wake up and talk to your dad. Please be okay. He really loves you, and if he screwed you over in any way regarding the Somnia, he's genuinely regretful, and you really need to wake up for him, okay? Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry. Wake up. Uh, thanks. Bye. up as heavy as lead an ocean of war please just leave me alone just let me have this a life to live must ignore my stupid head Roland <laughs> did anything happen are you all right Right, balloons pulling them up. Do you want me to talk grin? to you? Because there's things to do, there's a life to live. Must ignore the things I think. My sister, Maureen, was like you. She developed it around the same age as you and everything. Nobody understood her brain, and I didn't either. But I tried. It's there would like be times that she would need comfort, and there would be times where she just. Needed to be alone and get herself alone. And there's no way out. I felt like you once. I won't bother you. But if you ever need anything, kid, you let me know, okay? as your life falls apart. It's cold and it's dark, and there's no way out. I felt like you once. I wish I could shout. If something happened to Elsie. She could have been hurt or sick and they, they couldn't have just like killed her, right? Like that would that would take a lot of dissent for that. I mean Bass? Could you just listen to me for like one second? Oh. Oh my god, what? Well, um, I was talking to you. <laughs> hey, um, shocker, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I, I do realize that now, it's just, I'm worried about Elsie and Lane and... Hey, nothing's gonna happen to them. 
They'll be okay. But what Elsie said, and then she was screaming, and... I know what Elsie said. They pushed her soul back to Earth. That's gotta hurt, right? Yeah. Happened to me a couple times. I, you know, eventually figured out my place. Baz, she had a point. I know she had a point. They could stop what's happening, you know? They, they could be nicer to you, or Mikey, or the gay girls on that bus. Hey, you don't have an earthen body to get pushed down to, Lillian. <sighs> God, you having to call me Lillian means it's serious. I am serious. We have to be careful. Especially now that we're stuck here and, you know, what happened with me, I don't think... I don't think they're gonna be too gentle if something happens again. You know what? Half of the rules we follow feel completely unnecessary. And I mean arbitrary, for that matter. I've never been told by the voice that I'm out of transport so that I have to transport to a specific person. Like, I feel like I have just transported without saying anything ahead of time. Like, th th there wasn't like a rule book we had to study when we got here. The attendant when we first died didn't tell us how to navigate this place, even though she probably knew that Mikey and I had never visited before. I had to figure it all out, and I... I guess it just feels... wrong. You're right. You're totally right. I know I'm right. <laughs> yeah, but what are we supposed to do? I miss Mikey so much. He just... he just disappeared, and... He got reset. How do you know that? He doesn't exist, Lily. Try it again. Transport, Michael Bay Conrad. I know you want Mikey back. I do too. But he's gone. There has to be some sort of solution to all of this. Let's find your mom. What does she have to do with anything? Let's go newborn hunting. You know, that's not exactly a bad idea. Morning. Go talk to Roland. He doesn't want to talk to me, Dad. You'd be surprised. Trust me. Trust me. He was just acting weird. I. He was just really angry. Okay. I, I could have said something. This has nothing to do with you. Go talk to him. You know, whatever he said, he probably can't remember right now. He was rude. I, that can happen. Oh, hello. Um, it does say ask, so I will ask. Um, I am looking for reports on 2010 Haitian Northern uh, shaky buildings fall, lots of death. Uh, earthquake? Uh, yes, earthquake. That is the word. I am looking for someone. Two people. I want to know if they are okay. Do you know their names? No. Miss, um, who exactly are you looking for then? I think I was born in 2004 or... Maybe earlier, I do not really know for sure. My name was Nadia. Nadia? Yes, that was my name. Oh, right. Um, I am Charlie now. My new parents changed it because I do not know. I guess they did not like the name. It was a nice name, so I do not understand that. Anyway, I am trying to find out my birth parents, if they are dead or alive, but they probably died in an earthquake, considering how I am orphan. They are probably somniac, but I do not know. When were you adopted? I also do not know. I think in 2010, it was after Earthquake. I think I was 8, maybe 7 or 9, I really do not know. That is why I'm here. I have lots of books, but my reading English is not very good, and I did not understand most of them. I give them back to you. Okay, let me get this straight. You're looking for two of the millions of people affected by that Earthquake, and all you have to go off of was that you were their only daughter, and your name is... Was Nadia? 
you don't remember anything more about your parents and you don't remember your exact date or even year of birth? Yes, exactly. If anything, I just need to know how to read the English things. I am surprised most of them should be in French because, you know, Haiti. I suppose Council does not like French very much. Anyway, can you help? Okay, come with me. These aren't going to help you anyway. You need records, not first-person sources. I'll help you get the records on the Haitian earthquake. We have every Erlen printed material in perfect condition. You know, somewhere. Why did you have to leave? I'm losing control. Do you need anything? Just... Just stay there. Yeah. It's just... Since I woke up... He's been screaming at me. It just keeps getting louder. What? I don't know what I did, Elsie, but... He just won't stop screaming at me. I, I don't know what I did wrong. He said I did something wrong, but I don't know what it was. I, he's screaming at you. He's right there. God, don't let him hurt you. I, I, I won't. I, I, I can't let him hurt you too. He's hurting everything I have. I, I don't have anyone anymore. I love you, Roland. You're gonna be okay. <laughs>